Hey everybody, Mike Naso here from IPR with the latest on the first day of the Atlantic Hurricane season. The names for this year, of course, Andrea we've already used and we are now on Barry. So believe it or not, even though it's the first day of hurricane season, we are already waiting on Chantal. Uh, which would be our third name, Storm. So we're definitely going to have to see just how far down the name list we get. Out there today for the first day of the season, we have a couple of systems. First of all, Barbara is starting to look a little bit better off the coast of Mexico, and this is probably going to make landfall as well, and uh, could potentially be a strong tropical storm, maybe even a hurricane. Uh, of course, the bigger story is now Barry, which is right there, and it's moving directly towards the Florida Big Bend area, with a lot of wet weather, which may not all be a bad thing. They've had some wildfires in that area and a drought. Uh, you can see uh, the latest 45 miles an hour, 1,000 millibars moving north at 11. That's as of 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And uh, Barry is expected to be overnight moving on off more to the northeast and then making landfall sometime tomorrow afternoon, Saturday afternoon, and then bend more to the east-northeast and then northeast all the way out near Cape Cod by Monday as an extra tropical storm. Of course, if you're further north, further south, keep an eye on it. It could always come through Tampa or further south. It could always move further north towards uh, Panama City. Uh, but right now it seems the writing is probably on the wall for somewhere uh, for Barry in the uh, Big Bend area of Florida. Now again, it's not just the center making landfall that's the concern. This is a very sheared system. You can see on the visible loop that a lot of the heavy weather is right over the right side of the center and uh, the right side of the entire circulation. It's very asymmetrical. So as the center which is right here, makes landfall up here, a lot of the bad weather might be way out over the Atlantic and over the Bahamas. So the weather might be worse tonight into tomorrow before landfall, although the worst weather is not really going to be destructive. Don't, don't think by any means this is going to be a devastating tropical storm. If anything, it's going to bring uh, pretty beneficial rains. That's probably what we're looking at right now. You can see the shear over the system is very, very strong. You can see it shooting over the system right here. There is an anticyclone, a very favorable environment in the northwest Caribbean, but there's nothing there. In fact, I was talking to IPR's Eric Dunn yesterday. I said if something were down there in the Caribbean right now, it would have a pretty good uh, environment to s intensify at least briefly. Thankfully, there's nothing down there. However, what is out there, Barry, is in very, very high wind shear, and that is uh, going to continue into landfall. So any strengthening should be very minimal at best. Uh, on the other hand, our eastern Pacific storm, Barbara, out here, you can see the wind shear is uh, about 10 knots, so it has the potential to strengthen, but things aren't all that favorable. Better look at the tendencies now. You can see very, very high over the Gulf of Mexico and uh, lower down here where our eastern Pacific storm is. Now the models... Uh, uh, well, first, uh, the radar, you can see the radar, as I mentioned, a lot of the rainfall over Florida, that is a good thing. They really haven't had a lot of rain. If they have, it's been sporadic. Uh, so this is going to be beneficial. Uh, if we could get some of the rain up in this area here where they've had the wildfires, we probably will. If the center makes landfall, let's say, here in the Big Bend area, and get a lot of the rainfall on the eastern side, there's a good chance that the areas where the wildfire fires are will get some relief. Now the GFS model has our system uh, in 12 hours heading towards the coastline and then you can see 24, 48 uh, by 72 hours is way out here south of Cape Cod and then by 120 hours it is moving out over Nova Scotia and uh, does show a little interesting feature in the Western Caribbean getting left behind and we see that sometimes on the tail ends of these departing cyclones we'll get something in the Caribbean. The NAM you can see 12 24, 36, 48, 72, and then by 86, uh, or 84 hours rather, as our system pulls out, there's a little spin left down here. So we're going to have to wait and see if uh, Chantal <laughs> may be on the way uh, in a couple of days, and you never know. Here's Tropical Storm Barbara, the latest 50 miles an hour has been strengthening today, east-northeast at 4, 1,000 millibars, and you can see the track here through time has been very sporadic. It's been strengthening, then weakening, and it's going to probably come in, but it may take a couple of days to move inland. Just where it goes after that is unknown. 
Again, uh, you can see on the satellite, this system's been trying to intensify, but there is some shear still, and so it's having a bit of trouble. Pretty decent circulation, more symmetric than it was yesterday. Now, you can see the whole pattern here. Let me just lay it on the table for you what exactly is going on here uh, to give you a better idea. You can see our two systems, one in the Caribbean, one in the Eastern Pacific. Now, what's been going on here is Barry is sitting in a very unfavorable environment. As this trough comes in, it's going to push it out. Now, Barbara is stuck down here and not really knowing what to do. There is a little bit of ridging to the north of it, as you can see, which may try and keep it down there for a while. What the anticipation is, is that, well, okay, does Barbara sit down there and then come inland or start moving west? Or does Barbara sit down there and actually get tugged on by our departing berry and get sucked into uh, the Western Caribbean and fly out uh, like a bat out of hell in the North Atlantic? That's going to be... Uh, the big question. But you can see the pattern there. Uh, definitely not all that favorable, but certainly an interesting pattern for the start of hurricane season with our two tropical cyclones, Barry and Barbara. Barry heading out, Barbara heading in, and uh, we'll see what happens uh, with both of these systems, but it's certainly going to be interesting as we are only one day into the 2007 Atlantic hurricane season and already on our second name storm. I'm Mike Naso from IPR. Stay tuned to IPR365.com and podweather.com.